Welcome back to Switch Up. Hopefully you've heard by now that we have a channel sponsor in Pixel Heart who make physical games. They have also given us 15% off any of their games. You just need to use the code on the screen, switch up Shing, and I'll pop a link to their website. If you're a physical collector, go and check it out and see if there's anything on there that you want to pick up. That's a decent little discount. Okay, with that said, there are some incredible games on sale this week at stupidly low prices. And if you once again would like to spin the wheel of luck and see if you can win a game key this week, just pop your normal comments down below. You can tell I'm in a good mood. It's because it's actually sunny in England for once. Happy days. Right, what's on sale? Let's find out. First up then, and I bought this one for my daughter on her Switch, and it's Blossom Tales The Sleeping King. As well as being an awesome parent, it's also 75% off, so uh, yeah, it's two birds with one stone. It takes it down to £3.37, and that goes on until June the 24th. This is essentially Zelda, old school style, top down, lots of dungeons, a very cool main character, 15 hours of gameplay, as HD Rumble. There are five different dungeons in total. It's got a nice little soundtrack and a, a great little art style and for this price it's absolutely essential it's 436 megs and as i say that sale goes on until june the 24th Now obviously nothing in life is free, so I got my daughter to help me out with the advert this week as she is definitely the mobile games reviewer of the channel. Dragon Champions is a free to play turn based fantasy RPG that she has been absolutely hooked on. It actually has quite a funny storyline to it with a few different easter eggs and other bits and bobs to find and it has PvP or PvE gameplay so it is one you can play on your own if you choose to. It's funny actually seeing her play a game like this because once upon a time I was into a game called Dark Age of Camelot which had so many of the same elements like guilds, different raids that you go on, but upsettingly the graphics here are actually far superior to that game. What I like about it and probably the only reason I let her play it is that there aren't any obligatory microtransactions in this one. If you want to play without spending a penny you can absolutely do that and completing all the story levels and unlocking all the heroes is achievable as I say, without spending anything. Click the link in the description to get $10 worth of free gear and a character called Corcrim, who it has to be said is a bit of a beast. Using our promotional code, which should be on the screen right now, SUP GIFT, or switch up GIFT, but you need to spell it like it is on the screen. A massive thanks to Dragon Champions for this one and for my daughter, who is awesome and only seven years old, so fair play to her. It seems like this entire episode I am talking about my daughter, but we did play through Unravel 2 on the PS5, and it's a really nice game. It's also available on the Switch, currently at its lowest price ever, of £6.24, and you play as two little wall people. You can actually customise your heads and colours and stuff, which is a nice little touch, but there's a lot of really great storytelling going on, sometimes in the background. I seem to remember one scene where you're walking through a room and there's someone dealing with a really difficult issue, and I guess there's a certain voyeuristic quality to the game, but not in a creepy way. It's more akin to something like The Borrowers, where you're glimpsing into the lives of different people whilst going on your own adventure. It's won lots of different awards, this one. It's published by EA and developed by Coldwood Interactive, and it will take around about 11 hours supposedly to beat but if you're playing with someone that's quite young expect that to be considerably longer however worth noting one player can do the vast majority of the difficult things so the other one essentially gets pulled along quite literally 75% off and that's until June the 1st man I've just seen the incredible saving on American Fugitive £1.79 that's 90% off and this is a great game it actually released in a bit of a um, poor state I guess you could say and that's probably putting it nicely but since then publisher and developer fallen tree games have put a lot of work into patching this up it runs like a completely different game they've added loads in and it has that old school gta style to it except imagine that spliced with shawshank redemption and you've got an idea of how the story plays out there's also quite an interesting little mechanic where you can steal stuff from people's houses and there's a detection system so you've got to be quite quick when you're doing it you can obviously take vehicles but wow i'm a bit flabbergasted by that price really that's crazy 1.5 gigs 23 or so hours to do everything and the sale goes on until june the 10th An interesting one now and it's Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory. Now no it's not a full blown Kingdom Hearts experience but it's actually a really clever little rhythm game and in all honesty I thought it was a bit overpriced at launch 
It's now 62% off, taking it down to its lowest ever price of £18.85. As you'd expect, it makes use of some of the best songs from the series, has loads of the different characters, and there are actually over 140 different tracks in the game. You'll know if you've watched this channel, and particularly these sales videos, we very often use the music. But if you want a bit of a nostalgia trip, and something that's actually a decent little experience in its own right, then this might be a good pickup for you. To do absolutely everything is going to take over 50 hours, but realistically, to do the main game and a few extras, it'll take about 16 hours. There is off to offline one or two player, and there's also online two player mode. At this price, I'd say it's worth considering. Okay, next up then we've got Going Under, which is from Team 17 and developed by Agro Crab Games. <laughs> what a great name. I was glad that we couldn't get a review out for this one because I think it's actually really interesting. It's absolutely bonkers in terms of its concept, but it combines dungeon crawler elements with a bit of procedural generation and I know that's going to put some people off, but it's actually handled really well here. It is a shame that it doesn't have multiplayer. It would have been perfect to have two-player co-op in this one, but it's one of those games that has lots of references to current pop culture institutions, but it does it in the right way and it's actually very funny. And I think the developers really concentrated on making something that's just fun to play. Most of the items in the world can be used as a weapon, and as with roguelites, once you've discovered those, they can then be used in latter runs. It came out at a time where there was lots of good releases, and yeah, I just think it got overlooked. Very good and well worth it at 50% off, taking it down to £7.99. That sale goes on until June the 17th. Next up we've got Monster Sanctuary. This is a great little game. It has elements of Pokemon in there, but it's actually a Metroidvania. When you fight creatures, you get the chance to capture them. It is a random chance, so essentially once they're defeated, you may have captured them. You can rename them, you can choose your lineup, all those tasty little Pokemon bits, but as I say, it is actually a Metroidvania. The battles take place 3v3, it has a delightful little pixel art style, and you can actually go online and battle against other players in that way. I haven't actually tried that myself, but this is definitely worth considering. We do have a full review of this one, I shall pop a link to that in the top comment. It's only 636 megs, and the sale goes on until June the 17th. Two K have got some stupidly good deals on some of their games at the moment, and I'm going to recommend XCOM 2, the collection, which has had a couple of patches since launch. Look, it's still the Nintendo Switch version of XCOM 2, so don't expect perfectly smooth performance. It isn't perfect, but in a strategy game like this, you can still get an incredible amount of enjoyment. If you've not played the uh, XCOM games, you're essentially running the defense force against like a UFO invasion. You create your own teams, you can rename them, Call them your family members, which is either a really good thing or absolutely tragic when <laughs> when they inevitably, um, let's move on. There are four DLC packs available for this, and there's just a whole lot of game. Now, personally, I prefer to play this one in docked mode, so if you do have a Switch Lite, consider things like text size, etc. It's still okay, but yeah, and it's also got a massive download of 24 gigs. You're looking at hundreds of hours of gameplay. These are brilliant titles. So um, I mean, I absolutely love the XCOM series and I am pleased that it's on Switch regardless of some performance issues. Now, if you're a physical collector, it's also available in places like Best Buy and GameStop at the same discount. Another one definitely worth considering in a similar vein in terms of strategy, but this is 4X strategy and it's Civilization VI. Again, due to the nature of the game, when you've got a massive battle going on, so in terms of having lots of factions, things can ch chug down a bit. There have been a couple of patches since launch. And again, it's one of those games that's much slower paced, so you're not relying on quick reactions or anything like that. And I really enjoy it. Now, as you'll know, the games were originally created by Sid Meier and since then have seen quite a few changes. But that core experience is definitely still there. It has the different ways to victory, so you could you don't have to just win by destroying everyone. You could win through becoming, I don't know, the most scientifically advanced community. There's potentially thousands of hours of gameplay here. This is, uh, for the price, like, well worth it. It's 8.4 gigs in terms of the download. It's 50% off at the moment, and that's both physically through places like Amazon, Best Buy or GameStop, or 67% off on the Nintendo eShop. Now is the time 
You've waited long enough. It's time to pick up Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. It's half price in the US region. I'm not sure if it's global. You'll have to see the prices at the bottom of the screen. But this is one of the best games that I've played on Switch. And the port is excellent. The thing that really sets this apart and has done since it was originally released is the incredible combat. It's got such good ARPG combat. You can jump on the backs of giant monsters, climb up them, stab them in the head, jump off. You can definitely see some of the crossovers here with the Monster Hunter series and are so pleased to see Capcom bring this one across. Everyone was then asking for Kingdoms of Amala, which we've obviously seen on Switch as well. And people will say to me, oh, which one would you choose between the two? I actually prefer this game personally. It's got over a hundred hours of gameplay. There are some really interesting systems at play. And if you're only gonna buy one game this week and you wanna just bash out something over the summer, Make it Dragon's Dogma. Absolute classic. The sale goes on until June the 2nd, and yeah, definitely a pickup. My hidden gem, I guess, this week goes to the Survivalists. Now, I really enjoyed it at launch, but it was limited in terms of what you could do. But since then, there have been a couple of content packs released for it, completely free of charge, that add new content to the game. I kind of alluded to this happening in the review, it just has that feeling of something like an early Minecraft that needed some new stuff in the game. And they added the monkey business pack, which I think you can actually pick up for about $2 on sale. So it's not completely free, but there has also been some free stuff added. Now, as you'd expect, you're on an island, you're crafting, you're building, you're exploring. It's full of monkeys and there's a monkey training system so that they will mimic what you do and you can have them automate the tasks that you generally feel like would become a grind in, in any other game like this. So if you go chopping and have them mimic that, they'll then just chop and harvest for you. It's really clever. It's essentially creating algorithms through um, trained digital monkeys, which uh, well, that's worth a purchase on its own, isn't it? It's 50% off and that's until June the 17th and it's only one gig. This is also Team 17 through and through. They're not just publishing this one. They also developed it. Does have online two to four player as well if you can find some players to hook up with. If you were to ask me what my favorite team-based shooter on Switch was, it wouldn't be things like Warface, although that's quite fun. It would actually be Plants vs Zombies Battle for Neighborville. Word of warning on this one, this sale ends in 23 hours, so make sure you snap it up quickly. The Switch is the perfect platform for it, and having that gyroscopic gaming, as well as solid porting, mean that it's a decent place to play it. It's currently 30% off on the eShop, certainly in the US region. And however much I enjoy ripping EA, they clearly put the effort in here. There's things like touch, touch screen menus, little touches that you don't often see for handheld play. The aforementioned gyroscopic controls. You can play solo, so you don't need to play against um, other players. You can play against enemies and it actually gave me old school team fortress vibes as each class is necessary really if you're going to succeed against some tough opponents online you can upgrade your abilities there are boss fights in here as well and it's just a really well thought out game i know it's an older one and yes it's finally arrived on the switch but if you're after a competitive shooter this might be the one for you it's 6.4 gigs to download and that sale goes on only for another 24 hours so make sure you snap it up quickly Okay, let's look at two games you should avoid then on Switch, either because they're absolutely abysmal or because the performance stinks. And in terms of stinky performance, we have to start off with Cloudpunk. Now, Cloudpunk is a great game on other platforms, very cool indeed, but it's almost entirely broken on Switch. Even after a couple of patches, the frame rates judder along. It's just no fun to play like this. And yeah, I've seen a couple of people recommend this one, but do not buy it. Do not buy it on Switch. I guarantee you, you will be upset by the current performance levels. Now, I check it regularly to see if there is a patch, and you can guarantee as soon as as soon as there is a patch, I'll make sure that it's in our all patched up series. And it's FIFA 21, the Legacy Edition, which is like, I don't know, it's like your parent patting you on the head and saying, you're special too. But really what it means is the old edition that we have just added in new rosters for, repackaged and sold you for full price. GG. So yeah, don't do it, don't buy it, because they've just announced FIFA 22. Guess what? The Ledger, the Legacy Edition. Ay caramba. We know that the Frostbite engine has been ported across to Switch now, so there is 
literally no excuse from EA other than the fact that they don't want to put the effort in for the Switch version because the Switch players are still going to buy this old crap. Don't, don't do it, please. Come on. And yeah, that's it for this week. Make sure you leave your comments. Go and claim your $3 of loot for that game that my daughter reviewed for the advert segment. And just a big thanks to all of you who enjoy the channel, who put up with all of our rubbish and who for some reason seem to keep coming back and enjoy it. We do appreciate you massively. Go and check out our Discord channel. The link to that is in the top pin comment. We've got a really nice community over there just for hanging out, chatting, sharing screenshots and things like that and pretty much anything else to do with the Switch and other platforms, whatever. And for all things Switch, all the time, keep it Switch up. Cheers, guys. See ya! gonna cheat and add in one more game just just squeeze it into this middle bit and it's hell point it's currently 40 percent off i've just seen that it's the lowest it's ever been there's a review of it on the channel and we also revisited it because they patched it up so yeah well worth buying for that price mm -hmm.